I am playing for keeps for sure this time. The king of rock and roll, Elvis. Uh, listening to some Elvis on Route 72 on the way to Memphis, his hometown. Uh, and coming on the air today <laughs> with some breaking news, just saw that the inventor of mRNA technology was banned from Twitter for saying that uh, inoculated people can shed spike protein. Uh, this is the truth. This is someone with a lot of credibility saying it. It says right in the Pfizer documentation that shedding is real. I happened to, a few weeks ago, speak directly with a virologist uh, who had been a virologist for 30 years. He was on a call I was on and told me directly that shedding is very real. Uh, I think it's something that needs to be talked about and discussed and people need to know about it, but they're trying to stifle the truth. Again, these are the people that you think are protecting you. Uh, this is communist behavior. This is Orwellian, 1984. The uh, information police and the minister of information telling you what you can hear and what you can't. Is this the world, the country, the world we want to live in? I don't think so. That's why I am on the road. It's a philosophy for the people, uh, trying to fight these people who are trying, trying to do a hostile communist takeover in our country. It's very real. It's happening right now. That's why I'm out here. That's why we all need to stand up together and stand against tyranny, stand against communism. Uh, and I'm going to dedicate this message today to my dad, who saw my launch video the other day, and he asked me to share a message with you, and this is the perfect time to do it. He said, uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot that if democracy falls here, where do we go? That was a, a purposeful pause there. I'll ask again. If democracy falls in the United States, where do we go? There isn't anywhere. That's why the whole world is watching us. Um, we have to win this battle. We cannot give in. You do not give up on freedom. You do not give up on democracy. This is our last stand. If we lose this battleground, it's over. And not just for us, for the whole world, because the United States is the beacon of freedom for the entire world. Uh, so. Again, that's why I'm out here doing this. Wanted to give you guys that update today on a beautiful drive. Uh, you can go to ourfreedomfunding.com to contribute to this cause. Uh, gas is a lot. I spent $100 on gas yesterday. I, I drove a lot. Um, but there's going to be a significant uh, gas expense on this trip because of the commies and what they're doing. They shut down uh, the Keystone Pipeline and ended our autonomy, uh, energy autonomy. That's a great plan, huh? Uh, so I need your help and uh, help me help you. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not doing this for me. This is, sure, it'll be fun, but it's a grueling uh, venture. I've gotten a lot of support and a lot of kind words, and I appreciate that. It helps a ton. Uh, and I also need your financial support to do this. But again, I'm doing this for all of us. This is, a, if it was for me, just doing something for me, as I said before many times, I'd be chilling on a beach in Costa Rica writing a book, which would help you guys, but uh, not as much as hopefully this is going to. So uh, that's it for the updates today. Tomorrow is the beginning of linking up with the tour. Hopefully, weather permitting on the drive, I'll make it to Stillwater, Oklahoma for the Arise USA tour. Um, I think they are oh, crossing into Mississippi. I think they are uh, at an indoor venue. So if I can get there and the weather's not too bad, then it'll be I'll get some footage for you guys. Uh, if not, I'll have to bail and go up to Topeka, Kansas to meet up on Tuesday. So stay tuned. I love you all. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe out there and uh, stand together. Connect with people. Let's stand up to tyranny. Let's save democracy. Love you guys. Bye.